Yeah, I did a bit of training with the Harley Quins uh, last year, which was great fun. Nick wasn't actually there, but um, you know he's obviously a fantastic player, um, and uh, great to have him with us on the boat. And sort of uh, probably won't be as active as as what he's used to. Maybe we'd need to be on another boat for that, but. I'm sure he'll enjoy Eleonora. She's a beautiful boat and it's a real privilege to be on board. The boat I'm sailing on, Eleonora, is a classic uh, schooner. It's a 160 foot um, beautiful boat, the most beautiful boat I've ever sailed on, but it's not really a racing boat. And so it's a real challenge to sail it in a, on a course like this and race against so many other boats. It's not very maneuverable, so it's, uh, it's going to be very difficult, difficult avoiding all of the other boats and uh, getting around the island in, in one piece, but uh, hopefully we can do that. There was actually a lot of similarities between the rugby training and, and the training we do for the Olympic sailing. Uh, the rugby players are generally quite big guys and, and for me in the sailing I do, I, I'm also trying to put on a lot of weight, do a lot of weight training. And so it was really useful to spend a day with those guys and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it's good to have Nick here now doing a bit of sailing. Oh, I'm sure he looks like a very fit guy, so um, I don't think he'll have any problems on this boat because it's not that physical compared with, uh, with some of the other racing that we do. I've been, well, sailing around the Isle of Wight uh, in the magnificent 162-footer, if I've got my maths correct and measurements, uh, Eleonora, um, which is, I think, the biggest boat on the water, and uh, we've managed to get that going. And It was hard work at times, you know, tacking and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, you know, had a good day. It was just uh, about six weeks ago, I th you know, I got invited to come, and I've never done anything like that, you know. I've not really sailed properly before, and... You know, not being the cows or the Isle of Wight, so it was just an opportunity and it's been a great experience. It's hard work, I mean, it doesn't matter how fit or not or unfit you are, it's just as soon as you do your new exercise, you know, it is going to be tiring, something that the body's not used to, and uh, it was it was good. Yeah, it'd be nice to try and win the race because I don't think uh, they had any hopes, obviously, given the size of the boat, especially against the wind, uh, but uh, yeah, it's just the competitor in me, I suppose. Rugby's a very sort of short, powerful, intense sport, you know, it's over 80 minutes. And our sessions are sort of 45 to an hour long, whether it be in the gym or out on the pitch. Whereas, you know, sailing is pretty much, you know, half a day. And, uh, you know, it requires a lot of staying power. And, and I, th I suppose the biggest similarity is the teamwork. You know, when you've got the captain talking to the first mate, talk, bar you know, not even barking the orders. They actually speak very civilly to each other. And they manage to hear over such a distance and with the wind against them and things like that. Because, you know, they know when they're needed and everyone's got a feel for it. But they obviously, you know... There's a leadership role to be played as well.